everybody, welcome back to another Rusty Matter video. Welcome to our year nine series on algebra. Really going strong, it's been brilliant. So um, I'm glad that you're following, following me in this series. So we are currently just going through our solving of equations there. And if you missed the last video, which I have not highlighted as yet. So my last video was on just plain old solving equations. Then click on the pop out banner and just jump back and have a look at that one because all the basic steps that you need in order to move through the rest of this is all in that last video. So it's really important you watch that video before going through this one. Okay, now um, if you have missed any of the other videos, I will also leave a link up here right now to give you um, the playlist of all these videos and they are in the order that I have taught them in this order here, which is really, really good. For you. I have written this curriculum myself, so I know why things are sequenced in this way. Anyway, without further ado, let's jump down into solving equation with brackets. Before we continue, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so you will know as soon as a new video has landed. It's brackets, guys. There we go. So, time to rock on with this. So equations with brackets is what we're going to solve now. Now, really easy you've watched my last video so this is only one new thing i'm going to teach you and that new thing is how to expand the bracket and that's not even new because that's also covered in a video i'm going to leave a link to right above here um, earlier on when we started algebra so uh, jump in go and watch that video and you will be a-okay anyway let's go and see how we put all that knowledge together in solving this this is going to be super quick so let's go so the first thing i will do here i'll solve this in two ways and let's see which way you like best and you're going to stick to it and i'm going to change colors for it so the first way i'm going to go is i'm going to expand the bracket first so i'm going to expand my bracket seven times x that's going to be seven x and then seven times four that's going to be 28 and that equals to 63. and just like that now it looks like what we have just been doing in the last video so now this is really easy to solve so the first thing we will do we will take away 28 you know that i like the balancing method so we're going to take away 28 from both sides because that makes life super easy okay so that will cancel out there and i'll be left with 7x is going to be equal to that's 35 and then I'll finish off by dividing by 7, that cancels out, and then x is equal to 5. This is now finished right here. Okay, did you get that? That was pretty straightforward. Now, if you've watched my last video, which I keep mentioning, then this would be easy for you. And that's why I sort of went through it so quickly. Here's the second method, because I promised you two methods. So here's the second method. I'm going to go for hot pink. So the question is 7, uh, we've got x add 4 is equal to 63. If you're really eagle-eyed on this, you might recognize that you can divide by that 7 first. So I'm going to divide both sides by 7, like so. These 7s cancel out, leaving me with x add 4 is equal to 9, because 7 times 9 is 63. 63 divided by 7 is equal to 9. Okay, so as you notice, the, because I've divided by sevens, the brackets are now gone. And then all I've got left now is the x plus 4 on the left side and 63 divided by 7 is 9. So I'll finish this off now by taking away 4 from both sides because that's my inverse operation there. This cancels out and then x will be equal to 5. Just the same answer that we got over here. Which method did you like? Leave it in the comments below. Um, see which one you found much slicker. All right, so now we're gonna go into the next one. Now in the next one, I will go ahead through what I was doing before, which is that I am going to expand brackets first because um, I think for many students, you'll feel a bit more secure that way. This way has a potential to have problems because 
if let's just say that seven wasn't there and I had a four below here, some students might think that you can just divide that four with this four here without expanding out like and having two separate fractions. And so I think this might lead people astray. Only if you're really confident, use this method. I'm going to expand the brackets. All right, let's go. So I am now on the second question. So I'm expanding my bracket. So 13 times X is 13 X. Take away 13 times four is 52. And that is gonna be equal to negative 91 there. So the next step now is we need to remove that 52 using the inverse operation. Let's change colors for this. So we're going to add 52 and add 52 here. And once we add the 52, what will end up happening is this is going to cancel, but these two you will subtract. If you're not sure about that, click on the pop-out banner up here and go and have a look at my videos on adding and subtracting negative numbers. But here you need to take away. So on the left-hand side then, I have only got 13x left. And then that's going to be equal to negative 39. And then to finish this off then, what we will do is we will divide by 13. That's the inverse operation, divide by 13 there. My 13s will cancel out here, leaving me with x is equal to negative 3, because 39 divided by 13 is negative 3. And just like that, that is finished, okay? All right, if you think you're getting the idea, see if you can have a go at number three. That one's a bit of a doozy, this one, um, but I'm just going to jump straight into it and have a go. All right, here we go. So again, same method. I'm going to expand the brackets first. So I'm going to have 165 is equal to 15 times 4 is 60. Take away 15x. All right, really important here, guys, that you understand that it does not matter which side of your brackets, your X, uh, sorry, of your equation your X is on. It works out in exactly the same way. So we're not going to get fussed. I'm not going to switch this around. I'm just going to keep it as is and work it out. All right, so the very first thing that we need to do, we need to realize that X is multiplied by negative 15 and 60 is added to that. So the first thing I'm going to do is subtract the 60. Okay, subtract it from both sides as we normally do. This will then cancel. So on my left hand side, 165 take away 60 is 105, and that's going to be equal to negative 15x because 60 take away 60 is going to be equal to zero there. And then finally, now to finish this off, I just need to divide by negative 15 on both sides, divide by negative 15 there. And once I have done that, that's going to mean that, well, 105 divided by 15 is going to be uh, 7, negative 7, sorry, and that's equal to um, x because the x's will cancel, the 15's will cancel out there. And that's the end of that. Okay, fantastic, guys. I hope that you've learned something new. And if you did, please give this video a like. Um, comments down below are always welcome. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so that you don't miss another upload. But until I see you on the next one.